sound effects from earlier, they weren't fake guys. I didn't fake it. I didn't fake it. <laughs> Have you ever been more excited to do something? Because I'm really excited for this video. And the one problem I was just facing the past couple of days because I didn't know what type of topic this video should have or the story I should tell you guys. I was thinking, I was thinking, I was thinking, I was brainstorming and suddenly it struck me out of nowhere, out of the blue. Or I should say one of you guys commented down below what I should talk about. And today's topic will be about camera, camera, camera gear. Specific camera we are going to talk about is the camera I'm shooting on right now, which is the Canon EOS RP. It's an amazing camera. And yeah, so let's start the reasons why I love this camera. Let's address the elephant in the room, guys. I got a question for y'all. Do you guys own any camera gear? Like Sony cameras, Canon cameras, Fujifilm, GoPro drone, any sort of camera. What type of camera do you own? Because I'm really curious about the fact what type of camera gear you guys have. If you guys do have gear and if you don't have gear, what are you shooting on? Are you shooting on your iPhone or your Samsung phone? Tell me, I'm really curious about that. So with that being said, let's go to the first reason why I use this camera. So the main or one of the reasons why I use the Canon EOS RP is because something called distraction. Let me give you guys a small story. I went to Morocco last year with my best friend Nick to, to shoot a travel video. We want to make a travel video and it's actually my first video I dropped on the YouTube channel and if you haven't seen it Go check it out, it's not my best video, but it's a fun video. The reason why I tie it back to distraction is I was a beginner back then and the camera had so many options. 120 FPS, I didn't know what the hell that was. I now know it's a higher frame rate, which means slow motion, but back then I didn't know that. I had to figure everything out and I was more busy with figuring the camera out than actually shooting. The EOS RP, I know exactly what the camera has, what the camera is capable of. I already know like, okay, I want 24 FPS. I want to have it on this shutter speed, spend my valuable time creating content instead of just clicking around and figuring out the settings and things like that. So the first thing is, my first tip also is, if you are getting into video, make sure you buy a camera which isn't overly complicated. So that's the first tip guys. So, so I'm done packing my bag. We are going to grab my longboard and we are going to cruise to the second reason why I use the Canon EOS RP. Let's go. guys have you seen the previous video no you guys are going to ignore me okay all right make sure you like and subscribe guys make sure you like and subscribe so the second reason why I use the Canon EOS RP is because of the specs and guys guys I know I know this is just, just the opposite of the first reason why I use the Canon EOS RP because without the specs you don't know what the camera can actually do so why bother in getting a camera right? So know that you're going to use these specs then consider buying the camera but when you are shooting with a camera and you don't have the right specs or you have too much specs on the camera make sure you don't get distracted or might consider buying another camera. But to talk about the specs on this camera we're going all nerdy right now so if you don't want to listen to this nerdy stuff make sure you skip to the next part of this vlog slash tutorial slash explanation so you guys get, don't get bored so this camera has 24 frames per second or at least after the firmware update it has 30 frames per second 60 it has 4k cropped and the 4k isn't the full picture it is cropped so it's actually a smaller size of the full frame which really sucks because I like to try 4k but on the other hand I don't use 4k that much I only use it for time lapses other than that I don't use 4k so I don't really mind 
camera has an LCD flip screen which is amazing because for vlogging or things I do right now I can see myself and I can see the right exposure I can see if I'm in the full frame or not if you consider buying this camera as a starting YouTuber or, or as a vlogger this is a really really great camera because the quality is also off the charts so if you consider buying this camera let me know because I use this camera I love this camera too the, the dual autofocus is amazing like it's in focus, out of focus, in focus, out of focus, in a focus. Oh, I love it. I love how crazy fast it is. But those are the specs. Those are the interesting parts of this camera. I can't talk about the specs and how amazing this camera is without showing you guys what it actually can do. So later in this video, I'm going to make some cinematic B-roll and show you guys what this camera is capable of because this camera is freaking amazing. Speaking of specs, my throat is a little bit uh, dry right now. Let me go. Let me find my water bottle. Well, and where the heck is my guys? You saw early in the video that I included my water bottle in my bag, right? I don't have my water bottle. So actually, the weather today is pretty amazing. Like the sun is out. There are no clouds. Blue skies. This is the perfect weather condition for some cinematic B-roll. So. Let's get into the Cinematic Bureau, guys! So, my third and final reason for why I got the Canon EOS RP is because of the price. And this camera around $1200. And it's an amazing mirrorless camera. It's one of the cheapest, most useful and beginner oriented camera for people who want to get into filmmaking and things like that. I think this is my main camera for right now. I heard the Canon EOS R5 is coming out and I saw some specs on the internet, but I don't know if those specs are true. be sticking to the Canon EOS RP. Of all the cameras I've used in the past, this is my favorite camera. $1200. Ching ching. If you're interested in buying this camera, I have a link down below to Amazon and you can get this camera for yourself and try it out. So for all the beginning filmmakers out there like myself, I hope this video was very informative. So let's go home because it's raining right now and the weather sucks, everything sucks. So let's go home. But I really like to create these type of videos, like talking about gear, cameras, drones, editing, content creation. That's something I really enjoy. So if you want to see more, leave a comment down below. I'm out of freaking breath. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you like and subscribe. See you guys.